Sure. Now we have the question of how this hand gets sequenced and what we're doing with it. I think I want to fetch Breeding Pool off Misty on one and cast Serum Visions. Ooh, those are some good cards to hit. <clears throat> so I think the answer is I want... Do I want both or just one? <clears throat> and if I want one, which do I want? Let's think about this. So I can Delver leaving off Spellstone next turn, which seems really powerful. Then the question becomes if I want to have Goyf or if I want to draw a, a different card to go with the Pyro. I like both on top, actually. Oh, that was a huge mistake. Uh, I can shuffle away the Goyf, that's fine. Completely. I should have shipped to bottom and then used Delver to filter. <sighs> Completely forgot that I'm just like sticking myself with the fugitive wizard if I do that. So we're playing against Pod. Interesting. This is actually kind of an interesting debate as to what I do here. 2-3 Goyf? Yeah, I have to shuffle it. Slightly punished for my play. Not horribly. If I get potted, I'm pretty dead here. But, whatever. Four? Yeah, that's not nearly enough in Graveyard. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, got me. It's probably his free roll attack before he has pod, but I don't think there's anything I can really do about that. That's... <clears throat> Actually, more bearable for me. So we're going to do the shuffle trick. <laughs> or just hit something good, maybe. <sighs> yeah, I do want to pay life here. Uh, 
Yeah. That is not a good hand for me to deal with. So what is my game plan here? I think it's actually to cast crews for about a million mana. Well, that's unfortunate. I needed to draw Very specifically, I needed to draw a uh, lightning bolt for his Birds of Paradise to make this game good. Not terribly... Yeah, I'm terribly dead. <laughs> it's very possible we can missequence this game, but... Oh, nope. It's now nearly impossible for him to mess this up. He should just cast Siege Rhino right here. Yep. Targeting me. What is my game plan in this game? Besides die a horrible death. I think it's hit Vapor Snag right here. That's not, it's not good, but it's not, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's not bad, I was going to say, but it's just not good in the slightest. So let's think about this. If I pillar this, he just pods and I start dying. So I think I have to pillar the birds? Uh, I don't even know if that's right. And then just play super defensively and maybe have a chance to kill his stuff. <clears throat> that looks correct. There's no way he can decay his way out of this. Yeah, that's fine. All my creatures die, your siege runner dies. Sweet. So... Let's go on a cruise. See how crazy we can get today. That's a sufficient amount of crazy, probably. Um, I know his hand is voice pod, archangel, and unknown. <clears throat> Don't really want to take the damage into red cap range.
Okay. We might actually stand a chance. I don't know what just happened, but it was pretty great. Him playing pot and activating it is less great, but... Uh, him playing birds is even less great than the pod. <sighs> okay, what am I doing here? So, I think I need to... I don't really think there's anything that at four really scares me. Oh, a rhino. But I can't fight this guy out of play. So I just kind of have to let him get a rhino. So I think I want to cast snag here. So what if I just flood the board? What if I just attack with everyone to start with and see what he does? I think I need to be able to spell snare a uh, voice of resurgence here too. So, if I go Pyrogoyf, that's the right play? Make no promises, it is. That does let me go snag, snap, snag next turn. Oh, I'm now probably dead. Uh, because I don't have double spell snare. Uh, he only had one voice, right? Pretty sure he only had one voice. Yeah, I know his last card is Archangel, which he can't cast from here. Wow. Did I actually win this game? <laughs> Man, Young Pyromancer is a nice magical card. As is <laughs> Vapor Snag Snapcaster Mage, also not a uh, insignificant combination. I'm trying to figure out where he did something wrong this game because he definitely did something wrong. Yeah, so he's gonna get a Rhino. Oh, he didn't get a Rhino. Well, he was dead through Rhino anyway, so that's good to know. Man, what just happened? How did... How did this go so horribly wrong for him? Wow, that was impressive. I didn't even need a cryptic command. I think it may have been the turn that he was supposed to attack with everything was the issue. So I'll try this out. I don't think I want that card. Definitely want this card. Uh, spell Pierce, pretty bad. Spell Snare, probably not the best. Uh, this is correct. Pillar, good. Fork Bolt, good. Lightning Bolt, good. Deprive, fine. We're going to try out Hibernation. It's very possible that a Revelry is better, but 
not going to mess with it. I definitely don't want threads here. Yeah, sure. Let's try it. Man, young Pyromancer, just too strong at every turn. Yes, I would like this hand against Mulligan. It's actually not the best, but it'll do. I may be overrating this card against Mulligan on his part. So let's get my stomping ground, peg that guy down. I think I want a pyro. Not sure if it's right to just throw it away like this if he has a decay, though. Or a pontiff in hand. That's actually the nightmare. Oh. Okay. Boo. That's also not very nice for me to have happen. <clears throat> I could have waited and stagged my own guy and gotten good value, but I didn't. So I think we're just going to try to deprive and then snap deprive at some point later. Well, it's going to take my Deprive anyways, so... Kind of interested as to why that card's in his deck post board, but... I'm not going to get too uh, hung up on it. I mean, not really post board, I mean, if he, why he boarded it in. But like I said, not going to get too hung up on it. don't think this is the matchup where you need to be stripping their hand on turn 4. I have to think I want to use this vapor snag. I just to, like think about what I want to do with it. I think I want to target the Finks and cut his mana off for another turn. Yeah. I would like to reveal lightning bolt. Uh God, there's so much temptation going on here about what I can do with this bolt. One second here. Okay, just needed to double check if overload plus uh, snapcaster did not work the way I thought it did. Or did not work, which it doesn't, so... That's okay, I think. So, I think I have to ignore the top of his deck with this Deprive flashback action. I also have to let the Sphinx just kind of grow. I need to peg down these guys with my two removal spells. So I'm going to... There we go. Sure. 
Treasure Cruise. <clears throat> Neither of those is what I need here. Pyro's like nice, but it's not good. It's also possible I should have just immediately gunned off this Vapor Snag here, gotten into combat. And in retrospect, I'm pretty sure <sighs> that's what I should have done. Sweet. I think I want to bolt the bird here. I actually want to vapor sag the Finks here. And choke his draw steps. Yeah, I want to snag, or vapor snag, not vapor snare. It's vapor snare. Is vapor snare the control magic? Well. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. He's going to tap green-white. Or, no, he doesn't need green-white. Oh, it's not probably another black-white. Yeah. yeah. No need to expose that I have cards in hand that do things. Though I probably should have played the Misty so I could cruise next turn more effectively. Yeah, great. You got a Kitchen Finks. Incidentally, does not change my clock. That... Also, doesn't really change the clock. Four, five, six. So it's uh, six. Yeah, it's not lethal in two, so we're good. It's only 14 and two attacks. I don't like the uh, the look of this past the turn nonsense, though. I don't have another option. Yep, this is his one resto angel, very clearly. Yeah, and he gains two life. And I am at three. Yeah, I don't think I have an out, but I may as well keep playing and just think about it. Meh. Gave him two draw steps to hit an out to my Delver, and he did. Yeah. This is how everything starts, isn't it? Um... I probably should have fetched first, but... Well, I don't think this does it, but... There's always a chance. Nope. The old hibernation bounces a single permanent.
I was pretty close. As was game one, to be fair. I almost shipped this on the basis of like, oh, my own land sulfur falls, and I just didn't see the turn on first uh, first glance. This hand's great. <clears throat> I guess it's like a little unfortunate that my uh, hmm. What land do I get? I'll get breeding pool here. If I get punished for it, I get punished for it. I was going to say, it's a little unfortunate that uh, I have to use my fetch before the Delver. Birds of Paradise. May get punished for my choice of land here. We'll see. It's not a guarantee by any means. It's looking more and more like it every turn, though. Because I'd have an extra mana if I fetched a red. The question, actually, in my mind is whether I'm approaching the point where I can just burn him out and not really consider having to Delver. Actually, I draw land. No. Oh. So my big debate here was um, if I draw a land, I actually don't want to bolt the birds, and I just want to be able to EOT snap my bolt, um, shoot him, and then, like, it lines up to exactly, like, with this Delver hit, assuming he doesn't block, he goes to 11, and then snap hits for 2, and then he, like, decays my Delver. It's a very extensive line of, like, the math comes out exactly to 3 bolts plus a single Snapcaster hit is lethal, um, and, like, assumes that he has a removal spell for the Delver in that state. None of this actually came true, but basically... If I drew a land on that turn that I drew the electricery, I would not have bolted the bird, and I would have just saved my bolts for his face because the math turned out exactly. Let's clear that out of the way. Well, oh good, he's not going to make us wait. 